What is up YouTube, News Carl here. We're going to be installing some parts to address some of the issues that I've been having from Andy Slay Day, including a water pump and a new power steering cooler. So let's get right into it. So as I explained in my last video, my car was having some issues at Andy Slay Day where I could pretty much only drive for a lap and my water temps would go above 100 degrees Celsius. Um, some people have recommended to me that I go with the Stewart water pump, which is apparently a high performance water pump. It's supposed to increase flow by 20%. Um, some people have also recommended that I go with the CSF radiator, but in this case, I'm not gonna do that just because I, I really don't wanna spend that money. I'm gonna see if this works first and then uh, we'll address the issue from there. Now this water pump does come with a metal impeller, which I've always wanted uh, right from the get-go. When I bought this car, I knew that the plastic impellers were an issue. Other than that, I don't really know what contributes to the extra 20% in flow, but whatever. It seems to be a popular option. Like I said, I wanted a metal impeller water pump for a long time anyways, so I figured I'd change it out. I also plan to add some shrouds to uh, the space in between the intercooler and the AC condenser or the radiator, uh, just to kind of fill in the space and direct the air uh, where it needs to go because I'm not running the, the OEM uh, shroud anymore obviously because I'm running an intercooler so hopefully that should be an easy fix. I also had power steering fluid boiling out of my power steering reservoir. I want to switch from my dinky little uh, power steering cooler to a much bigger one and I want to relocate it into a spot where it's actually getting uh, some nice fresh air. Not that this spot isn't but um, I have two more ports on the side of the M3 bumper so I figured I'd utilize those. That being said, I'm running out of daylight, so let's not waste any time. Let's get to work. I forgot to train them. <laughs> well, it's a good thing it was just water. So right off the bat, um, I mean, you could tell that this this is the stock one. Um, it looks like the, the little fins are larger than the metal one. The fin count is the same, if I'm not mistaken. Um, also, the diameters are the same. From what it looks like i mean that makes sense i guess really the only difference is that this pump has like a little shroud to direct where the water goes i don't know if that where the performance increase comes from um it uses the same pulley so um i don't know i guess we'll have to wait and see if this makes a difference people can attest to it online so uh i guess i'll just have to take their word for it any leaks yet so I did let it idle for a good amount and um, I, I did notice that it took a lot longer to get up to operating temperatures um, take it for what it is um, out of the way until we have another track day to kind of conclude on whether or not that works but let's move on to the next thing so now that the water pump is in the car let's go ahead and get to mounting this new power steering cooler that I got off of Amazon. It's a lot bigger than the one that's in my car right now. So hopefully it does the job and I don't boil over any more power steering fluid. So like I mentioned earlier, um, I kind of want to replace this power steering cooler and the location. I don't want it to be there anymore. I want to free up as much space as I can uh, in front of the radiator since I'm having issues with water cooling anyways. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and mount it somewhere in this location so i'm probably gonna have to cut some of my oem crash beam and uh, i want to get it like right above the 
intercooler piping. So since I am planning on cutting the crash beam, I had to get rid of one of my horns, but I don't even have a horn button. So yeah. So that was fast. I uh, changed my mind after I already cut my front crash beam. Um, I don't really like where my power steering cooler would end up. There's like, there's like no clearance for really anything. It's already hitting like the kind of the top of this. Like, there's, there's just take my word for it. There's, there's no clearance. And on top of that. There's going to be clearance issues with this guy, but if I push it out, like if I push it out that way, then um, I'm going to have issues with like bumper fitment and it's just, I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to work as I kind of intended. So I think I'm just going to mount it right here where the condenser is. I know this is going against what I really wanted to do. I don't know, I think it's just the best option for what I have right now. I am also doing shrouding, so I'm planning on uh, having all this sealed off, so hopefully that helps with uh, cooling. I guess we'll have to see what happens. So this is probably where it's going to sit. I have these like cable tie thingamajigs that I use for my other power steering cooler. I'm gonna be using the same thing, but um, I mean, it's not a bad location. I think it'll be okay. This is right behind the inner cooler where uh, it's kind of in the opening of the bumper. So hopefully it sees some fresh air and hopefully my shrouding will kind of make a difference. See, I have the power steering cooler mounted. Now I'm using these little ties mounted to the condenser. And then I have the lines going to the OEM power steering cooler, just like my last setup, but a little bit more tidy, a little bit more neat looking over here. Still gonna look pretty ugly through the kidneys, but whatever, it was better than my old setup. So now that the power steering cooler is mounted up, plumbed up, ready to go. The high performance Stewart water pump is installed, ready to go. I think it's time to cap this off with some shrouds to go in between the radiator and the inner cooler so that we can seal this thing up and hopefully make this cool a little bit better. So this is the shroud that I had 3D printed, all assembled, but not really. I still have this not zip tied on, as you see I'm using zip ties. So that's just so I can assemble it. So I'm going to be using some foam strips to line the outside. This is going to be the intercooler side. I have some foam strips that I'm going to use to kind of seal the area. And then there's going to be the radiator side with uh, all the front brace and stuff. So. Let's get this thing installed. Okay, so I already did a test fit of uh, this whole thing and it turns out that this centerpiece was too long. So I made this a little bit shorter. 
um, the ends were like sticking farther than the end tanks of the radiator so I adjusted it in the centerpiece I was also a little bit too long if it could just focus can you focus there you go it was also a little bit too long for these side pieces so I had to cut some off of the top and this ledge shouldn't be a problem with this being hollow um, this is gonna be covered by foam anyway so let's get this installed so the shrouds are installed honestly it was a pretty tight fit but this is how it looks as you can see kind of there's like it goes all the way up to here and it's really a really 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 tight fit you can see kind of the foam that's uh sealing the areas that i want sealed like the inner cooler and close to the frame also at the radiator and here's how it looks from the bottom there is a little bit of a gap right here but i'm not too concerned about that because i really care about what's going to be going through the radiator but that's all sealed up and here's a view from the driver's side i have uh, some little slots for my oil cooler lines unfortunately i have a little bit of a gap right there but that's not a big deal and there's another another hole or slot like right over there honestly it's not even really bolted in it's just kind of wedged there between the well you got this this part kind of hanging off the intercooler and then there's the part on the bottom that's also hugging the intercooler so that's keeping it up you also have an angle here that's acting as a wedge and since this is assembled as one piece it's not really moving side to side I think I don't know I haven't really tried it maybe I'll try to print another one that will secure better like maybe it'll secure to this bracket or something like that I haven't really decided right now they are assembled as you saw in the previous clips it is assembled with zip ties this one was a pain to get on but I managed to get it so that is it for this video um, I got the high performance water pump installed I got my power steam cooler installed and I have some shrouds between the intercooler and the radiator now unfortunately I'm not really gonna be able to put this stuff to the test until we actually get to the track so we're just gonna leave it like this for now until we actually get there which may not be the next video i don't know yet we'll see what happens but until then thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video